Here today, we're at 60 Bethune, a luxury modern townhouse in the West Village. It's four stories, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, approximately 4,000 square feet. And it's all on the market for $14,950,000. Today we have the architects, Horston and Annie with Halt Architecture. Welcome to the townhouse. We created this double height space by cutting open the floor slab. And this floor slab is reflecting the structural requirements to keep all of the adjacent townhouses structure intact. This double height family space was really important to us because it really acts as the centralizing zone for the dining area, the office, and the garden. And also there is a TV actually hidden inside this core wall. Everything in this space is custom designed from the fireplace to the windows, even the profiles, down to this coffee table. We wanted to create this townhouse as a sanctuary in the city kind of a calm respite from the urban environment. And so we did that through the minimal palette and the muted hues. Well, we love the energy of the city, but it's always important to have moments where you can relax and, and feel like you're in nature. We were very fortunate to be able to utilize this very bright wall, which actually naturally reflects light in the afternoon sun back into the townhouse. We created the office on the garden level so that you had a second entrance for guests visiting. And as you can see, it's part of this open space. However, what was key to us was creating flexibility in this open space. And so just by having a sliding door, it creates that privacy when you need it. There's also a wet bar on every floor. And here's the dining room where we have a custom sign table from Italy. And this space overlooks the double height space and engages that family room and also acts as an art gallery. With the kitchen, we want a creative space, which doesn't feel like a kitchen, and yet all the functions are hidden. We were inspired by yacht design and how everything is compartmentalized into a central core. So essentially, all of the storage is concealed. This is the hidden refrigerator. And even an appliance garage. In case you're wondering where all the counter space is, this is a great hack. You can basically roll out the shelves when you need them, use everything you need because the outlet's already in the back, and then tuck it back in and you're done. And you have a nice clean space. The cooktop is here. The hood is actually hidden behind this panel. Generally, you want a lot of illumination on your surface that you're working on in a kitchen. The lighting is fully recessed to create a lot of task lighting without it being glaring, and it's a very subtle glow on the counters. And now we'll head to the next floor. This is the primary suite, and one of the main things we wanted to do was allow for flexibility in the partner's routines. And so what we did was created a very flexible open space so that the two partners, even if they had different routines or schedules, they wouldn't disturb one another. For example, we can come through here, which is the wardrobe and also pantry, which we can also get to from this side. Here we have 20 linear feet of primary closet, and each of these have cedar-lined interiors, which is part of the wellness features of this home. And there's also this convenient pull-down for additional storage. The hangers are made of cedar, uh, custom designed, and the cedar both gives it aroma and also acts as an insect repellent at the same time. So this is the primary bathroom. This bathroom space was inspired by spa design with a kind of central tub in a shower space. The double rain shower heads create a very calming effect as the water trickles down and drains into the trench drain and the double drains. There are also the towel warmers from Vola, which integrate into the wall. These heat up so that your towels are always nice and toasty. Everything is very advanced in the house, and there's a washlet, which automatically opens and has a warm seat. Come with me to the next floor. Here we're on the third floor, and here you can see that sliver of daylight that's actually coming through from the roof, which was created because we detached the stair entirely from the sidewall. So 
here we have the kids' floor, and these are the bedrooms. And despite the townhouse feeling very open, it actually has plenty of storage. This is a pantry and more storage. <laughs> These are actually desks which can open up to any height. So the desk height can change and adapt as the kids grow. And up here we have another outdoor space, which is really luxurious in the city. We have an outdoor kitchen and a garden in the back for entertaining and just a general nice space to be. You can even see the Hudson River from here. And now let's meet up with Eric. Four stories, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, approximately 4,000 square feet. And it's all on the market for $14,950,000.